What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Ed. Today we're going to talk about how you can reach Titan League while getting a ton of elixir, a ton of gold. So as you can see here, I just made it to Titan League. I'm definitely excited about that. It's my first time getting there. You can see the loot bonus there is 280,000 per hit. I mean, Dark Elixir 1880, 280,000 for, for gold as well. I mean, anytime you get a win, that's what you're going to get. So you're going to more than make up for whatever you're spending on the Elixir side of things. So, but before we get into it, let me show you how it was last week. Because I did a video last week talking about the type of attack that I'm going to show you. So, this is a screenshot of my base. Uh, it's basically a screenshot of the video that I took last week. And you'll see on YouTube that I put it there a week ago. You see my Ground Warriors at level 5. And uh, I have my healer going in there. I still have 12 days on there. And then... Uh, that's basically it. My camps aren't upgrading or anything. So you can also take a look at my trophy count. I was at 3305 and this is a week ago, okay? So let's go take a look at what it is now. So a lot of differences going on in the different base right now. So as you can see, I have not one, two, but three camps going. I have my clan castle going. I mean, got like nine, over nine million of elixir. Luckily, I have that other hut right there to be able to get some of the walls going. I mean, it's it's a really effective attack, guys. I mean, I went from 3305 to 4135. Uh, so we'll go through some of the attacks here. But I mean, the main army that I'm doing is, uh, or the only army is uh, 26 bowlers, six healers, my queen. Uh, you don't even need the king, but you can use them. And then I have the grand warden. So going through some of the replays here you know we'll start off and see we'll go to the back so let me show you this one so the good thing about these attacks is that basically you know if you're aiming to get like 250,000 at least every time you're going to get the other 250,000 through the loot bonus so every time you make a hit you're going to get at least 500,000 so i mean you do the math i mean every attack that you do you're going to make it happen so that's why it's important to be over here either in the champion league or get up to the Titan League where the loot is, I believe, 280,000. So here we go. Whenever we're going to do these attacks, the main thing you're going to do is doing the three healers behind the queen, and then you're going to do six bowlers on the other other side with uh, the healers behind them as well. So you want to go in from a side as well that has the eagle artillery. And uh, you know, one important tip to give you, which I'll show in a different base, is uh, if there's a lot of point defenses. That side is the one to be the side that you send your bowlers in when you put the queen on the other side. So let's take a look at this one. So I dropped the six bowlers, the three healers behind them. I had to use the queen ability because those point defenses were just hidden. And I mean, this base is kind of set up where it's got the expos hidden them on both sides. So it's a little bit tough to enter, but you know, we make it happen in there. So as you can see, the funneling was good. Got the bowlers going in there. Eagle, Arti Art <laughs> Eagle artillery has been activated and uh, we got everything going in there, raged, healed. I mean, the placement of the jumps is critical, guys. You want to make it go right to the middle. But I mean, this army is so overpowering that it gives a lot of room for error. So, I mean, you'll be okay either way. That's the great thing about it. So, as you can see, I used the ability there. You know, I got got the town hall down and I got everything going. I mean, I already have, what, 400,000 elixir, 300,000 of the gold. I mean, stuff is still going there i mean got the 50 percent and i mean uh one thing i need to note right here you know i put the poison on these little skellies so if they come out at you don't don't use the poison on the on the, the heroes you know you could save it for the skeletons to come at you later because uh, i mean sometimes they'll try to take down your healers and it's important to keep the healers going so let's go back over here so that's a good one there uh let me show you another one um let me show you Let's just do this one, downtime. Uh, this is a really good one to go with. So, I mean, it's got a kind of the outer ring base right there, but I mean, it doesn't matter. You're gonna just do a jump and a jump. So you got, I'm gonna drop the queen right there, the three healers behind them. Then I'm gonna put the bowlers here, uh, either on this side or on this side, it doesn't really matter. So drop the bowlers there. You know, the expo, you look here, it doesn't even target them yet. So that's a good thing. And then uh, once I get enough of the base cleared out, then I drop the, other, the rest of the bowlers in the pack. So right here, you know, this stuff is still up. I want to try to take this out and this out so that way it doesn't make the other bowlers go that way. 
So jump and jump. Boom. So then drop the Grand Warden there, and then I drop all the bowlers, and then I'm just gonna rage him. And it's gonna basically wreck everything. So boom, damage there. Drop the heal. So it's rage, heal, rage. So now they're gonna jump in there. And I mean another rage right there to take out everything. And you're basically gonna get all that loot that's available. I mean, plus you wanna get that star, guys, whether it's 50% or get the town hall, you know. That's very important that way you can get those trophies so you can climb up to Titan League. So there's that. I mean, you can fast forward through it. I mean, the attack is so OP, it just makes things happen for you. So let's go to a different one. So if you look through the log here, I mean, you can see that most of them are over 200,000. So I mean, 300,000, 277, 214, 441. I mean, this one's crazy, 540 over here. So think about this one 540,000 612,000 plus the 250 on top of that I mean it's very effective guys so I'll show you one more over here let's look at this one uh, Ludo I got 99% on it unfortunately but I mean even though they have the Eagle Artillery artillery, I can't talk today <laughs> the Eagle Artillery um, you could still make it happen guys I mean so you drop the Queen there then I got the bowlers going, dropped six of them with the three healers behind them, clearing it out, making the funnel for you. And then uh, we're gonna drop the jump here in this area by the by the archer tower, and then probably drop it somewhere else. It's an easy entry on this one. So you gotta really watch your queen too. You know, I really recommend for you to have at least a level 40 queen. Um, maybe you can make it with level 35 for a level 40 is more important. So you get them in there, and then you got the warden on there so they can have the hp buff going so boom the rage they're going in there then you drop the heal i mean they're just getting healed up you know the, the infernal towers aren't even doing any damage i dropped the other jump over here by the expo i mean easy money guys easy money so as you can see it's really easy to do guys I mean, really easy I mean, you can even use this for war you can put it in there, put some giants in front of them. Very important, guys. If you do want to use this for war, you want to put giants in the clan castle instead of a golem. Because if you put the golem in there, then the healers might retarget to that and just keep going on the golem. And you don't want them to just he heal the golem. Uh, you want them to heal your bowlers. So, as you can see, it just destroys everything. Stuff just keeps on going. And I mean, I get to 99% on there. So, I mean... This is an easy way to get up there, guys. Um, as you can see, you know, I got all my stuff being upgraded. You know, I'm just waiting. You know, another thing I didn't mention, I also went another level up on, on my Grand Warden to level six. So after this war is over, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe upgrade my Warden, or I don't know. Maybe I'll wait till the, the clan games go on. So that way I can maybe finish up my looms and start something else up there. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to put it in the comment section. I'll always respond. So thank you guys so much for watching and never give up.